Our first speaker is Jimmy Tai, who will address leadership. Jimmy escaped Vietnam 15 times, was imprisoned twice, and witnessed police kill his brother. Through determination, he eventually arrived in America as one of the boat people refugees. With no English, no money, and no education, he started as a janitor at Miramar College. Five years later, he graduated from UCSD with a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, went on to earn his Master of Science in Electrical Engineering and MBA degrees. He then attended executive leadership trainings at the Federal Executive Institute and Harvard University. In 2011, he cracked the bamboo ceiling as a VP for technology with SAIC, a Fortune 500 company. In July of 2012, Toastmasters International awarded Jimmy with the honor of the Distinguished Toastmaster. In 2013, he founded the Leadership Foundation Academy to train, mentor, and inspire future business leaders and teach the passion meets compassion philosophy. A frequent speaker on TED Talk, Las Vegas, Washington, D.C., and international conferences, Jimmy's seminars provoke your mind and heart with self-deprecating humor. His 501c3 Build a School Foundation has funded 41 schools and bridges in Vietnam in three years. Please welcome Jimmy to the stage. Thank you, that voice in the sky, wherever you are. <laughs> All right, first slide. Take a look at the picture. Her name, unknown. Her age, one day young. Her status, abandoned in front of a Buddhist temple. Why? Why did a mother abandon her newborn? Why, after four decades of peace in Vietnam, there are thousands of orphans? I don't have the answer to these wise questions. But if you want to become a leader, here's the better question. What? What can we do for a poor soul that this little girl. Now, I will get back to you what we did for her. Before I go into that, I would like to share with you a secret that made me a successful leader as I am today, from the background that you heard from the voice in the sky. Every morning when I get up, I look at myself in the mirror and ask, wait. <laughs> Good morning, handsome. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What the hell is wrong with his mirror, right? <laughs> Let's get back to this talk, okay? Every morning, I ask myself this question. What a difference will you make today? And that's the secret in six simple words. Find your passion and ignite your compassion. Let me break it down for you. Your passion is that's what you were born to do. I coach hundreds of students professionals, old professionals, to find the answer to this elusive question. If you spend seven minutes with me and answer three questions, I can help you find your answer as well. Anybody want to find your passion? Raise your hand. Not tonight, okay? <laughs> I need to keep this program on track. So, but if you talk to me afterward, I'm pretty sure that I can find time to help you. So first, find your passion. Then use that passion to feel the compassion in you. Now, to find your compassion is what you are meant to do for the less fortunate people. 
And to find this answer, it's a lot harder. You have to reach really deep inside you and find what moves you emotionally. For me, it's all about children and education. Why children? They are the most vulnerable. And if we don't protect them, who will? If our foundation did not build 41 schools and bridges in rural areas of Vietnam, then over 4,000 children would be subject to kidnapping and selling across the borders for as little as $100 a child. And if we don't educate them, what's their chance to overcome poverty and inequality? Now, let's get back to the baby, the baby that we, I found just one day after she was born. And let's watch the video clip and see what we did for this little baby. We raised almost $5,000 to build a decent kitchen for the orphanage when the babies left. And that's what we do. So to summarize this talk, all I want you to remember is six simple words. Find your and ignite your compassion. That's all you need to remember about leadership. Why? Because when you find the intersection of where your passion meets compassion, that's when you know what you can do for the less fortunate people. And my friends, that is the true meaning and purpose of leadership. Thank you very much.